сніг і круші, Каплили тумани над рікою, Виходила на берег Катюша, На високий берег над Крутою. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Katusha, and today we have another NTW3 battle replay. So today is a bit different, we're doing a 2v2, and uh, my ally is playing as an 8 point faction, um, pretty interestingly, and we have Bavaria on their team and Prussia, and my friend is playing as the um, Russian, uh, a Russian army, but it's more of the um, Cossack, uh, a Cossack, more, uh, more Cossack army, so most of his troops are um, partisan type, um, like a little bit less than the actual Russian military. Over here we have, um, he's moving his cav around, um, and on the other flank supporting Prussia we have Bavaria on the other team that I'll be, um, kind of on his side, and I'll be playing as Russia 1807. So now our battle plan was that since, um, all of his units can pretty much do the, um, has the gorilla ability where he can form on anywhere, uh, he can be on any part of the map. He moved his cavalry really close to the Prussian army and also along the river to protect the points and um, take out like vulnerable targets. So right now going off after the SARS with his cav, his Cossacks here. Over here sending also units into his uh, artillery. A great, a great strategy by my ally here, taking out a bunch of the troops, doing a great job with his cav there, and only losing about two units, which were uh, pretty late units, which he used to stall the uh, hussar so he can move them around and uh, kill the artillery. So now Prussia's in a lot of disarray. They're, they're just trying to get out of here. Um, it's too late now to protect their artillery, and they've lost all of their cav because they only had about one or two units, which were uh, killed by the Cossacks there. Now Prussia also has about three or four units, a little bit more that he's going to bring later, defending this river, but the Cossacks are already here because of the guerrilla capabilities that he used to his advantage here. So he's defending all the cross points of the river here with uh, cannons, which I had never seen someone use um, guerrilla units like this before, so it was uh, really interesting to see how this played out. Over here I have my 12 pounder as usual, um, defending this river. I have more infantry moving into the town, so I'm going to use these units here to uh, capture the buildings in the town, as well as these, my uh, grenadiers and my musketeers. While my more elite troops will hold this town over here. I have a unit of Rusko, or uh, Russian-Prussian musketeers moving up near the house here. Now this battle is very interesting. My army is very split, so at some points in the battle, I'll be microwaying really badly. But, um... Yeah, it's, it's pretty uh, weird in some parts, but um, for the beginning, it's pretty much just artillery. Um, as usual, some troops moving in here, and he does use his cab a lot. These troops here. So not um, so interesting about the army of uh, my ally is that even though they are a Cossack um, army, most of their troops have very elite stats, which might be a little uh, OP especially with the combination of guerrilla tactics and of course armies can be OP if people use them uh, correctly which in this case my ally does a great job of using them um, so we have the uh, two pounder here so very light artillery but still can get the job done another two pounder over here taking out some troops from the musketeer unit and then again um, Prussia didn't really build his army against a fast mobile uh, country like my friend had. He built it mainly a big slow uh, infantry army and I I'm pretty sure like only about two or three of his units can actually form a square over here. None of them can as well as on this flank. None of his troops can form square so perfect for cap charges in the flank. Over here Bavaria is still moving up but they're uh, moving pretty quickly. The unit of dragoons moving up here. I have my Russian, Prussian, uh, musket here's over here. Needing to reinforce the house if they need to. Cool bridge here. Now I've only played on this map about once or twice, so I'm not, uh, too familiar with it. 
but yeah, still he's holding the uh, points here with some infantry. Over here is probably one of the weakest points. He only has about two units of infantry, uh, skirmisher type unit, along with a two pounder. He also holds this point, so we have all of the uh, LOC points right now, except for the one, the far one, which the uh, Bavarian started at, and the four pointer, which is their uh, their um, HQ point. He is still getting great kills with his cannons, taking out some troops from the uh, cav there. Over here, he's surrounding their army with um, uh, his cav now. Looks like he's about to go in for a charge. So massing his calf for a charge here, very smart idea. Breaking a unit there, charging in the other two around his flank. So again, using the stalling tactics to stall the unit and then bring more troops around the flank is a really uh, smart, great idea. Going for the general now. So yeah, devastating the Prussians army here super late, in the, uh, super early in the game. It's only been about 10 minutes and he's already broken about like a fourth of the uh, Prussians army so far. And still, most of his cav is intact, even though some of their morale has been dropping. He's going to fall them back here. Now, in that engagement, he only lost two units of light cav against um, a lot, uh, breaking a lot of the uh, Prussians' units. I mean, they've lost their general, and they've also lost four, uh, yeah, three units of uh, infantry musketeers veteran musketeers all they have left here is three they're bringing over more of their cav four units which will definitely overpower the uh, Cossacks here but definitely doing a great job there over here Bavaria is already pushing into this orchard over here there's some grenadiers pushing up two units over here some line infantry and I've set my troops up ready for their um, attack. Still have some infantry across the bridge waiting here in reserve. My cannons haven't quite uh, unlumbered yet. Over here I have my cav ready to go in for any charges against their uh, infantry here. So now I do notice this unit of um, the fusilier, the guard fusiliers here, as well as the uh, f more fusilier guard. So I'm kind of um, going to attack this flank over here because I realize that there's not really anything, any cav protection they have against it, any protection against cav uh, for those units. So over here, the Prussian cav, since it was a lot less tired, was able to catch up to the uh, Cossacks and wipe most of them out, which is unfortunate, but they really did uh, really devastate the Prussian's army here. So the Prussians still haven't attacked, which is very interesting because... Um, obviously with a lot less numbers and um, the advantage with the cannons, there's not really much they can do in a line battle against the, uh, um, not much the uh, Russians here can do against the Prussians. Over here my troops are opening up fire on the, on the Grenadiers advancing, but I'll quickly get outnumbered here. I'm just trying to weaken them as quick as um, as much as I can before more troops come in. That's why I sent a bit lighter of a unit here just to stall them as long as I can. Yeah, but Bavaria is sending their whole army here. It's definitely um, a bit worrying. My troops definitely taking a lot of casualties here, killing some of the grenadiers, but he's sending another unit around in the flank. Uh, so I'm just going to hold here as long as I can and try to take out as many grenadiers as I can before they can actually storm the building. Over here, a unit of lancers still intact. I'm sending my cav around to the flank over there, all the way near the, the line. By now, with how much firepower they've sustained, they're um, taking a lot of casualties from the, from the uh, cannon volleys. So yeah, my uh, Russian Prussian musketeers obviously routed really quickly. They will probably, they will definitely uh, come back, but it'll just take a little while. 
So for now, um, my ally over here is kind of by himself on this, uh, in the building. Now I think by now I'm setting up my cannons. But for some reason, I don't know if it's something I'm doing wrong. I can't, I can't quite set up my cannons and I can't quite, like, face them, like, exactly 90 degrees or around more. Like, that way they won't fire. So I don't know if it's something wrong I'm doing. Um, but it's really confusing, so... Because I've seen other players do it, uh, but I can't. So over here I moved my uh, Moscow Dragoons over into the flank, taking out a unit of Musketeers, uh, helping soften up the Prussians before they're able to actually attack the uh, my ally over here. Prussian now getting to the house. Uh, the line infantry should be enough to take out these units. There's only about 90 or um, actually over 90, uh, 60 here and 70 there. So about 140 uh, troops in there. Which they're definitely not gonna last long enough uh, against this unit of 106. Over here I'm sending in more Russian, uh, Russian musketeers, uh, Russian Prussian musketeers, but they're not, uh, they're gonna get surrounded pretty quickly. So I try to charge them into the house. But yeah, that's not going to work. I'm just trying to stall them as long as I can, so that way he can hold in the house, but it doesn't seem like he's going to hold in the house anyway, and my troop, uh, that unit gets broken. Now I'm sending across two units of infantry, but it doesn't make any sense. There's so many more. So now they've taken the uh, orchard over here. So I'm sending across two units of uh, my elite infantry. Actually, I'm retreating the other one. Over here, the uh, Prussians are still... Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure what they're doing. They're probably rearranging their lines and moving... Yeah, okay, so that's what they're doing. They're moving um, two units um, that can form square onto the flank, which is a smart idea. Now, I still have two healthy units of calf, one being a Kyrsir and one being a uh, Dragoon unit. So pretty good cav on the flank there. So now I'm, I'm uh, confronting the variants on the bridge. Taking some casualties though. So yeah, I, I have some units that are coming to reinforce on the river, but um, right now I'm pretty badly outnumbered. Again, my cannons, I try to get them to shoot at the uh, the line infantry over there, but they wouldn't turn. So I don't know if it's something I'm doing wrong or anything like that. Over here, he has actually a 12 pounder, but it's only one cannon. And the Prussians seem to be focusing most of their assault onto this area, onto both this area and um, the area over here. I still have that unit of uh, dragoons here, though. So I was thinking about maybe going around the flank or just holding here for now. Looks like they're starting to advance now. Not quite in range, which is um, good. Over here I'm moving up my two units of uh, Moscow Musketeers. The Bavarians holding this bridge very uh, strongly. The Prussians seem like they're moving uh, their infantry up. A large cap charge. Now I have no idea what happened in this battle. Um, it went kind of weird. All of their lancers quickly broke um, against kind of like against one cannon and a couple of skirmishers, which was quite amazing. I have no idea what happened there. Um, but yeah, I was, I, I'm not sure exactly what happened, but he broke all of the units. And most of them have really small amount of casualties. Some of them now retreating do, though. So I moved my unit of uh, Kyrosir here to make sure nothing like that happens again. This could be worse if it happens again. Now the Prussians, interestingly, they're charging across the, uh, they're charging across the, the river now. 
they're not gonna sit here and shoot. So I was thinking about moving my cuirassiers to the flank over here and then I can come around into their uh, side. And also my cannons which are are able to fire over here, I'm pretty sure I'm firing at their cav at least, or retreating cav. Yes, I'm firing at their infantry and their cav, um, making sure that they don't come back. So the Prussians are charging here, taking artillery fire. So yeah, they're, as I said, um, the Kyrsir is moving to the flank now. Looks like he's getting ready to open fire, so I'm not going to allow that. I'm going to charge right in. So now he's getting a lot of friendly fire. Um, shooting his own troops with his musketeers. Only killing about 10 of my troops before they are able to get out of there. Charging in with a unit of... Um, no idea how to pronounce that, but a, a unit of uh, infantry here. So I go back. They're pretty tired, so they're they're not going to be too effective in battle. Smart using the uh, canister there. So now I'm going to go back in for another charge. My cannon's also getting some kills here. Go back in for another charge here. So we're just going to... I try to hold them on this bridge. Now I was really worried that we were going to uh, fail until I started seeing some of their morale drop here. My cannon's also doing a great job of knocking um, out some of the troops here. Getting right in their flank there, right in the flank of the musketeers. So right there um, was pretty crazy. I have no idea how we were able to hold this bridge with about three units right now in the cannon. Uh, but we did it somehow. So we held off the Prussian assault here. Now it looks like the Prussians are getting into a line battle. Uh, with a much larger unit. It's a really huge unit, 388 soldiers. This is this general right here, as well as some skirmishers in the bushes here, firing off at the uh, musketeers on the other side. Now I retreated my unit of cav, I'm not sure. Okay, there's my uh, Moscow musketeers are back here. Yeah, now he's getting off fire, he's in range, which is definitely going to uh, deal a massive blow to both these units with how much firepower is coming off those troops. His cannons now, firing on the uh, Prussians, almost in range of canister. I charged my cuirassiers across to make sure I could finish off some of their units there. Now back over towards the bridge, the uh, Bavarians are setting up uh, their cannons, and um, I have my, my soldiers ready here. I've retreated them back off the bridge, so I'm going to have to get them into cover quickly. Rear Russia sending in a unit of a uh, cav into their general here, which is pretty sneaky, but um, I guess it works. So, yeah, we've just killed Bavaria's general, and um, he went for some infantry, some light infantry here, but didn't do, uh, didn't break anyone, but he killed some soldiers there. So, again, doing a great job with the general there. I'm sending in some cuirassiers now to uh, support this house because it seems like they're going to be sending over this light infantry to. Uh, be on uh, these two bridges and probably go for the house. Over here, a full outline battle has erupted. Uh, some troops fighting there, some troops fighting here. So yeah, like what I said, the um, Russians are now opening up canister into these troops and they'll uh, break pretty quickly with the canister fire. Over here, these two units taking heavy casualties from the uh, firing. Now I'm starting to move up my infantry uh, pretty soon. Again, I was microing my cav a lot without microing my infantry, which um, is kind of my fault. Right now, I'm using my uh, artillery to open up canister fire on some of their troops. Long-range canister, I guess, if you want to call it that. Taking out some troops, but not as much if they were closer. So now I'm probably going to start opening up um, uh, standard shot. So now, I'm not sure why Bavaria did that. They have perfect shots down the bridge on my two units of infantry down there. But instead, they're shooting standard shot at my two units of um, infantry there. But there's not really any angle. They're pretty much shooting dirt here. So um, I'm going to move them back behind the houses with my uh, two units of uh, Mos Moscow Musketeers. Over here, my 12-pounder is still getting uh, fire onto these units here. 
So winning at this crossing right here um, was really good for our armies. The Prussians losing a lot here. Um, now on this flank, I'm going to move my cav over and um, push the fusiliers and stop their attack over here against my uh, ally. Over here, some skirmishers in the red. Now they're starting to break, which makes sense. Jeez, that guy just got shot in the face. Getting great hits from the canister here. These are their two elitist units, so I can't really do much with cap here. So I'm going to start sending in my uh, infantry here. There we go. M marching them down the road. So hopefully they get there in time to uh, help this flank right here. Still have my unit of dragoons here, ready to uh, charge any fusiliers that come across. So it's going pretty good on those flanks over here. I'm still kind of cautious about um, Bavaria. They have about six or seven units here against my uh, six, which is definitely uh, pretty even. But crossing the bridge would be de um, deadly for either uh, either faction. So I have to be really careful on my timing when I want to attack across the bridge. So now I'm using my artillery to keep firing on their uh, on their light infantry, which I've done a great job of taking uh, some of the troops out. I've done an okay job. Not not too many of their troops are taken out. Now these troops in the house, they have a little bit more than they had last time, and these troops have a lot better stats than the other troops, so they should be able to hold in the house long enough. Looks like they're charging you now. One of those guys just got shot in the face. So yeah, Prussia's being uh, beat pretty bad. Cannon's ready to open fire here. They've lost about half of the troops they originally had. Still marching my troops down the road. Now I have troops stationed in this house and troops stationed in this house over here. Which is a really weird funky house, so the stairs look weird too. Um, and one unit over here holding the bridge, or I think they send a second one over, too. So over here, they're charging in now. Um, both units of light infantry were broken without even, like, hurting the morale or, uh, many of the soldiers of these units. This one's only lost about one soldier, so they broke two units of light infantry. So very good units, um, surprisingly. I thought it would be a bad uh, army, um, but it turned out to be pretty well. Soldiers in there still fighting, breaking a lot of these uh, units here. This one will probably have the same fate as the other two units, that one before. Now I sent over my cab because I, I thought I could stop them in time, but um, yeah, they're really exhausted, so they're probably not going to get there in a while. It says running, but they're going like two miles per hour, so I don't know. So yeah, they've already broken th uh, the three units now, and they're about to break the fourth one, which they've just... Actually, I think they the player made them get out of the house. I'm going to send over my unit of cab to finish these guys off. Over here, breaking the Prussians now. I'm sending in more reinforcements, my grenadiers here. Which he's gonna retreat his troops behind mine. Which makes sense, they've taken a lot of uh, damage already. Some of my guys are already getting shot at. My grenadiers here. Uh, I think, yeah, a unit of musketeers and grenadiers here. And a unit of musketeer also moving up. So now he's moving his 300-man uh, uh, unit over here to the uh, flank. So holding this area is a very uh, key position. They have four units here that we have to be careful of. Right now I've used my unit of uh, Dragoons to take out his two unit of Fusilier. Um, and now I'm going to go around the flank and take out these units of Musketeer. So 
So yeah, one of them came back, but I did uh, damage the other one. So now getting hit by artillery is going to keep them broken. I go in, in for a charge pretty soon, but um, right now it looks kind of weird. Not really doing anything. My um, Kyrosiers make it, may, uh, made it back to the house. And then the Bavarians are moving up. They have another unit of artillery that they sent over, but not getting any damage really at all. Because for some weird reason, this road is very, uh, very deep. Doesn't make any sense. Um, it's a really deep road. Um, so yeah, getting to your house would be a little bit hard. If you were trying to walk up to the door, you'd have to walk up like really steep slope. Um, but that is protecting me from any cannon fire. Also, the buildings really help. So I use the buildings and the terrain to my advantage here against the uh, artillery fire. Now I'm going to move my cannons pretty soon, but again, I was microwing kind of all, all over the map, so it was kind of hard for uh, me to micro over there. Um, so I'll get to it eventually, but um, now I have my three units moving up here. Again, not microwing this unit. I'm going to put them in front. I wanted to put them right here. But... Yeah, so my troops shooting at this unit right here. I've broken both unit of um, musketeers and now their fusiliers and uh, guard um, guard is about to get knocked out, which is good. So getting friendly fire there, which is not his fault. It's really my fault. I should have microed better and moved him over here. Um, which was really stupid on my part. Here I'm going in for um, a fake cap charge, which makes puts his units in square, which means he only gets about a fourth of the fire he could have gotten um, had he not formed the square. So now I'm going in for a cap charge against his musketeers or his fusiliers. I'm about to uh, break them here. Shooting some of my guys, but I'm definitely gotten to that unit, breaking it for good now, hopefully. They might come back, but probably not. Over here now, I'm shifting my cannons. Um, probably still not enough. Um, but hopefully, uh, they'll be in range. Over here, the uh, skirmisher is still sitting here. He could have easily uh, crossed this bridge onto the flank against the uh, infantry there. But he hasn't yet done so. And over here, the unit of, um, the one unit of guard, it looks like they're both going for charge, or they're just moving up. Um, but this one has been damaged. So almost about to break and this one is uh, looking pretty good pretty healthy so far relatively probably about to break pretty soon over here my musketeers opening fire he's going for a cap charge with his 300 troops they broke before he even got there and if i saw 300 angry russians i definitely uh, run away too over here he's he broke my unit of musketeer obviously the guard is, has a lot better uh, melee stats but they were broke each other pretty much so now we've pretty much wiped out Prussia. We pretty much have it um, in the bag, <laughs> I guess. Um, so we can just go uh, fight Bavaria now. I mean, that's all we have left. So over here, I try to move out my musketeers close enough to where they could actually. Um, I thought they could be in range of the cannons, but they're not. So just get a bunch of canister fire in return. Over here, my uh, Leibgarda hasn't quite moved up into position yet. So we still have some of the Bavarians to worry about. We have three pretty healthy units um, of troops there, and these two units of light infantry, which aren't too much of a worry, and the unit of cab as well. So right now, moving my uh, Kyrosiers up, I'm trying to restore their, uh, their um, tiredness, or not their tiredness, but try to restore their energy. So my partner and me doing a great job there of um, working together to take out the Prussians. Um, where Bavaria didn't really push at all. Um, and they didn't really support each other as much as they probably could have. Which also having the um, the ability for the gorilla, uh, the gorilla ability uh, for my friend over here really helped him out uh, getting these vital positions. Over here, my cuirassier, um, protecting against any light infantry. Now, over here, he um, knew what would happen, so he has a unit of uh, 
uh, unit that can form a square in the center, and then two units of grenadier, um, which will help against any cab that tries to attack. Over here, moving the dragoon, uh, my Moscow dragoons over, as well as two units of my musketeer, or a unit of grenadier and a unit of musketeers. Now I was going to try to wait until the right time where I could actually charge in when the Grenadiers didn't have the support from Cav or the Square unit, but um, yeah, it doesn't really work uh, the best I hope for, as you'll see uh, pretty soon. My Curiosiers were tired as well, though, so if they probably had their full uh, energy, they probably could have done a little bit more damage. But yeah, not doing really much at all. The square definitely broke me, and then the unit of uh, Dragoons didn't really do much. They provided moral support, I guess. Um, and over here, Grenadiers charging into the building. Which I have damaged some of their uh, their morale a little bit, and uh, killed some of the troops. Over here, I was thinking about moving my uh, Dragoons over to the flank over here, then around, and come in the flank of these uh, light infantry over here. So yeah, quickly and easily breaking that unit of Grenadier there. Four units in this building. Um, anyway, what my friend said is that they had um, really high uh, skills. They had um, almost the same stats as elite units, which I was really surprised by. Um, we all kind of thought it was just, you know, militia units, which was uh, kind of weird. Because they've been breaking units left and right here. And they'll good units too. He's sending in the seventh line as kind of a last um, last uh, desperate assault. These four guys just standing outside. Those are the four lucky guys. Over here these guys um, getting into the building. I mean the guys in the house don't even have bayonets. But, I mean, every time they uh, beat back the Bavarians. Over here trying to run my calf, but they're super exhausted, so they're not going very fast at all. He still has his cannon uh, pretty much intact, but they're probably out of range. Well, it is a 12 pounder, so they should be in range. I believe, yeah. Light infantry firing into the building here, but probably not to too much of an effect. Over here, their cannons are, uh, their morale is dropping a little bit. I moved my cannons up here to fire on their artillery. Still not too much going on over here. Most of the battle's been on this side of the uh, map. So now they kind of hold this area. Um, the, the Bavarians hold this area, and we're uh, coming around the flank here, um, as well with uh, some of my troops coming around the flank, uh, and trying to push in the front, but not really doing too much there yet. Now my ally is sending some troops up to the four-pointer so we can capture their HQ point. Um, we got about three units here marching up there. So he still has his unit of 349 uh, now. They lost one guy. And he's moved up his artillery. So, um, yeah, holding this river here was a pretty good uh, terrain advantage, I guess, using the river. And they had to cross it uh, to assault our positions. Over here, it's going to do his firing, but getting a lot of friendly fire, as well with this unit as well, getting some friendly fire. So everyone's kind of getting friendly fire on each other over here. My cannon's still opening fire. It looks like we've broken one of their cannons. I'm um, landing a nice shot into the uh, other cannon over here. And they're just gonna walk straight into the house. Wow, that's 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 just magical. And right throughout the other side. In this world, magic, I guess, exists. 
but we walked through right through the house, so I don't know. Over here, he's uh, stopped firing the cannons, which is a smart idea. Now he's moving his infantry up. I'm getting my dragoons, um, which took like an hour to get them around the flank. This one random guy wearing green. Um, so they're about to uh, get closer to the positions, then get ready for a charge, which was what I originally hoped they would do. But they're already uh, really tired, so they might not really do anything uh, too great. Over here, my two units marching in a cool uh, column formation. Russians in this mod are just a little too OP, I guess. Over here, moving my dragoons around the flank, getting away from this unit that can square. These guys have really bad accuracy. They haven't killed one guy yet from my uh, unit over here. I'm just going to walk right around them. Hopefully he doesn't move this unit of cab over here though. The uh, Dragoon unit. So moving them around the flank here. He's going to shift his uh, line infantry. I'm going to go in for a charge. It's probably not going to work because they're going... They're, they're literally walking. Yeah, they're probably going to get butchered by this uh, unit. Their horses are like grandpas, man. They move like two miles per hour. So I'm still just walking uh, towards the other unit. <laughs> but I'm about to get killed by... What the heck? These four units, these four guys right here, they just they just lost the will to live. They just they just fell over and died. Without even getting touched. Yeah, but it's taking a really long time to get these troops over here. Now on the other hand, um not really on the other hand, it's taking this guy uh forever also to get up the hill. Or up this to this uh house over here. It's a really elegant house. It even has a wall around it. And a broken church. Um, so yeah, he's going to start uh, attacking this house pretty soon. Because that is their fourth point. So if we take that, we win both the LOC. And if we wipe out the Bavarians, we get the... Uh, I don't know. We get a win. A win-win. So our friendly general just died as well. By being charged by that unit of uh, Bavarian calves. Yeah, I mean, nothing against the Dragoons, but it's kind of hard to take out a unit of 300 guys. So he's just going to keep on marching here. They're about to beat the Light Infantry again. For, like, the fourth time. They've already beat the other one, the unit of Grenadier that came in. So he's just broken the other unit out as well. He still has a unit of light infantry, but they can't really do much if Grenadiers can't do much. Over here, he still hasn't crossed the river. He hasn't really used these two units for really anything. Over here, I'm running my, uh, or my friend is running his troops. It looks like they've actually been broken after being attacked like 10 minutes ago. So they're going to retreat now. I'm going to move my infantry up towards the house and uh, into a line here, hopefully, and fire on their soldiers. We'll go into fast forward here because the battle, um, not that it gets boring, it just takes a little while to um, actually march around. So here he's setting up his cannons. Um, I'm not sure what he's firing at exactly. He's firing at his own unit, so I'm not sure what he's doing. So there we go. Okay, so I get into position now. I'm about to line up and um, fire in this unit of light infantry or actually just charge them. I mean, they are grenadiers after all. See, look, I don't get that these three guys over here die, but I just charge them on the other side, so I'm not sure. Maybe the energy if the grenadiers killed them, I'm not sure. So 
However, here my musketeer unit and my grenadiers are going to go and finish off this unit of line infantry. We'll speed it up again because it takes, again, a while to uh, march over there. Again, the cannons, they can't really limber, be, uh, limber back up because the horses were killed by the treons. This general luckily came back. Well, this general's dead, but the general unit is alive. So the musketeers marching now um, towards this unit of line infantry, making their last stand near this uh, these cool Italian trees here. So we're getting a little bit closer. I'm running my troops. So yeah, definitely um, killing a lot of these troops here. I just want to break this unit as quick as I can though, so that way I can march over towards um, this area and actually start attacking. Over here my artillery can't fire because for some reason the house is um, in the way, I guess. In the rocks. So yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong with my cannons or anything. Um, but they won't, sometimes they won't fire, or they just won't, um, they just won't, uh, turn all the way. So if you guys have any, uh, if you know what's wrong, what I'm doing wrong, uh, please put it in the comment section below. But, um, anyway, yeah, just kind of wacky. Over here, I am taking some casualties, but, um, I am about to break their unit over here pretty soon. Over here, my friend supporting me with two units of um, the skirmishers. We'll uh, fast forward it here. Moving a little bit closer. So, yeah, they should break pretty soon. Now, as you can see on the map, we're about to take the four pointer. Um, these two units here aren't really doing too much. Um, about to assault the building. Now we're starting to encircle this army. I have troops on this side of the bridge and troops. Um, my ally and my two units over here are about to surround him around this orchard. I don't attack this way and this way. So uh, the unit has finally broken. Very stubborn. So I'm going to march my troops over. Um, well, originally I wanted to go to this side and march through here. But I'm thinking about just pushing with brute force through this flank with my ally. And I'm uh, getting ready to assault from this this uh, side. Over here, his uh, line infantry getting behind the house. I did get some shots off from my cannons, but not really getting too many kills there. Going to fast forward it again. Like I said, it, it does take a while to march places sometime. Uh, sometimes. So you have the two units of Skirmisher moving up. Uh, this unit of uh, his generals moving up as well. And my unit of Grenadier and Musketeer are going to support them. Now again, he does have some troops hidden back here near the house. So it's not really, uh, he doesn't really have this many units. He has a lot more that are kind of um, hidden. Well, back towards the house. I think they're inside of the house. Over here, he's gotten friendly fire. By now, we'll uh, just play it out. There's only about six minutes left. So I've broken the cannons, um, the cannons um, with both my fire and friendly fire as well, uh, shooting his own troops. So marching up now. Um, a gun battle between my, uh, or a firefight between my musketeers here and the uh, line infantry there. They're here yelling. Okay, I guess they're uh, killing off some of the troops there. My 12 pounder is getting some hits on this unit, which is uh, pretty good. Here's the light infantry. Um, oops. 
So yeah, I'm advancing here. They're uh, going to be holding this position. The 200 troops should definitely outnumber these 110. Light infantry holding the uh, top here. So by now we formed um, an L around the troops here, um, around the Bavarians. Now he does have a unit up there, which again I said isn't really doing anything. So now he's got his light infantry. I'm going to put some troops in front of them. They're not quite in the light, uh, light infantry behavior mode, so I'm probably going to shoot uh, my own friends if I'm in range, but probably not. Since I don't think I'm in range. Okay, over here, yeah. I'm in range, but I don't think I'm actually shooting at them, which is good. So still firing. Um, we got a lot of troops here uh, against there, so we're going to eventually push. I'll probably speed it up again. So again, another uh, firefight between our troops. And we've taken another building, which was their four-pointer. So now we have the LOC victory if we just hold out long enough. Well, not hold out, but we're um, about to do something a uh, little, little bit crazy. Which um, you'll see when we get ready for it. As you can see, I'm assembling my forces here. I'm getting ready for our mass charge. Because why not? I mean, Russia loves mass charges. So, yeah, we're getting ready for one here. I'll slow it down. Going right in for the charge here. Getting right into their line. Now that unit of musketeer broke, taking most of the shots, but I used them mainly as a meat shield. So the rest of my troops could come in successfully. Breaking them at the bridge. Now we're going in to the front. Obviously these units broke here. They had not really too many troops. My, my musketeer's coming in. Now the rest of my infantry. So yeah, he does have a lot of units in this house. I think about two or three and some back there as well. So we're gonna go in here towards the house. We have about two minutes left in this battle. Our men are running, sir. My Lave Garda should be able to take out this building. We, there's only about two units left, uh, two units left in this building and another one over there. Now our infantry is coming together. The poor Bavarians are trying to run away. The Landwehr. But they're going to get taken out quickly by my uh, incoming grenadier unit. Hopefully, there's only about 90 of them in a... Well, only about 90 of uh, those troops as well. So my one unit of Lab Garda should be able to take out these two units of line infantry inside the building. Um, yeah, because they're not looking too great in terms of health and morale. See so yeah, over here, crippling their forces uh, near the wall. Make, uh, the Bavarians made... Um, Pretty good last stand, but there's not really much you can do against a mass charge when uh, outnumbered. The men of fatigue, sir, must rest a while. So now we're fighting for this building. Uh, they're fresh, and my unit is exhausted, which might hurt them a little bit in melee. But uh, we seem to be doing uh, pretty good against their troops. Over here, we have a unit of light infantry moving towards the house, um, and my five units um, holding or moving up there. But anyway, the battle ended. Um, it's a victory, which usually I thought it would be a draw. They still have two units left. But we did win the LOC, as well as um, if it probably continued, we w um, obviously would have wiped out their army. Um, but anyway, great job to these players. Um, and leave a like and subscribe like usual. And um, I'll see you guys next time.